It's the 19th of November and we, uh, this is going to be kind of the making of our Christmas launch and I'll show you what we've got so far. So we wanted to recreate that traditional Christmas scene of Father Christmas and his reindeer silhouetted against the backdrop of the sky. So um, we tried to find kind of ready-made um, reindeer and Santas and it just wasn't happening, um, mainly because it was porcelain and that's not a good idea to send up into the sky and like cake toppers and stuff like that but it just wasn't good enough so we've made our own we've had to scale it down a bit we've just got one reindeer but we've got the main one we've got Rudolph so you know prioritize um, so this is what we did now it had to be light so we found Christmas tree decorations so that was the best thing and I will introduce you to our pieces <laughs> now so we have the main man Father Christmas. Can you see him? Oh, by the way, I haven't. Mark's here. He's Hello. He's behind the scenes on this one. He's gone all shy. No, not really. He's technical today. Right. So, Father Christmas. There he is. Nice and light. Polystyrene with a bit of fuzziness on. So, far off. Oh, I forgot to get the other reindeer. I'll go get him. Two seconds. I'll get him. On the shelf. Okay. Shall I keep going? Yes. Oh, let's keep going. Right. Now, that was a Marks and Spencer special. Also in Marks and Spencer's. Sleigh. Right. Kind of sledge, but this, for the purposes of what we're doing, is Father Christmas's sleigh. Fantastic. Nice and light. For proper wood, mind no rubbish. So there you go. Right. Now. Here we go. Right, at the same time as finding Santa, we found what I found. I was procurement <laughs> and I found this. <laughs> this apparently got rejected, well I did get rejected by Mark because it looks too much like a fox. It's a deer, but apparently, but that apparently was not good enough for Rudolph. We didn't like that. He's shaking his head, he hated it. So that's just going to join the Stratodean Christmas collection. Mark procured Rudolph. Here he is. There he is. Now, I was like, that's not Rudolph. His nose needs to flash, because everybody knows his nose glows. So, <laughs> here we go. Ah ha ha! Ah! There you go, right? And this is. I would pretend that I did this myself, but it was a Mark Ireland production. Ready? Now, prepare yourself. <laughs> Look at that, I'll let Mark just uh, explain that to you in more detail one day. But yes, Rudolph and he glows. Fab. Next we've got, should I take his batteries out? No, he can say that. We've got the uh, Santa sack. This is a Phelps family decoration, circa 1970. It's just thrilled to have this back in operation. Wonderful. Classic. So I've also made some additionals myself because there wasn't quite enough presents in there for my liking. So boom, extra presents going to be assembled. Um, I've thought about this. This one represents a what, tin of roses. You know, we always try and wrap one of those and I can assure you that was difficult to wrap. Tin of roses that one represents. And I'm not sure, like a selection box maybe? That's what the one is. Again, nice and light. Whoops. Nice and light. Fab. Now, shall I show you in flight configuration-ish? We haven't actually... I'm just going to get that. <laughs> we haven't actually put it all together yet, but it's going to look something like this. Boom. Actually, you're going to see this on the video anyway. Boom. Presents on. Check them on anywhere. Looks good. Oh, well. <laughs> the other way around, but never mind. Fab. And that's how that happened. <laughs> Just gotta send it up now. Stick it all together. Send it up. Job done. Job's a good one. Ho, ho, ho.
Right, good luck team. Ho, ho, go. Ho, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, let's just check. No tangles. All right, ready? Glad your pep talk. One, two. Okay, ready? Five. Two, three, go. <laughs> you didn't let go. No, did it. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Okay, Santa's launched with Rudolph. They're uh, currently in flight and we're gonna go track them. So, uh, once again, as usual, we haven't got any 3G yet, but Mark has got some strong signals. There it is. Yep, oh. we'll have 3G in a sec. It's just a, a black spot. But we're on our way to Chepstow to go over the Seven Bridge to get the right side of the river and then uh, down towards Somerset. is looking a bit nervous. I am a bit nervous. We've had a burst. Luna's burst. The parachute is yet to open but that's fine. As long as it does eventually.
nearly landed now and we're about to turn off. That's us. That's it. And we are currently 660 meters. Cool. We think it's up here. We jump her. Look at the tree. No. There it is. Right by that post, that house. Right by the power lines. I think they noticed us. Sheep's a running theme with us. <laughs> Cass is making a quick escape before the landowner comes and gets us. <laughs> okay, we're nearly at safety. No one's chasing us, it's okay. Payload. Nosy in ya. Oh, those two got bored. That's it, back to the food. Well, oh, he's easy distracted, isn't he? 